Yeremiahu, Jeremiah 9. Oh, that my head were waters and my eyes a fountain of tears, and that I might weep day and night as for the slain of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men, and that I might leave as my people and go from them, for they be all breakers of wedlock, an assembly of treacherous men, and they bend at their tongues like their bow for lies. But they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, says Yahuwah. Take ye heed every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother, for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders, and they will deceive every one his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies, and weary themselves to commit iniquity. Your habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit they refuse to know me, says Yahuwah. Therefore, thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Behold, I will melt them and try them, for how shall I do for the daughter of my people? Their tongue is as an arrow shot out. It speaks deceit. One speaks peaceably eth to his neighbor with his mouth, but in heart he lays his weight. Shall I not, shall I not visit them for these things, says Yahuwah? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? For the mountains will I take up a weeping and wailing, and for the habitations of the wilderness a lamentation, because they are burned up, so that none can pass through them. Neither can men hear the voice of the cattle. Both the fowl of the heavens and the beast are fled. They are gone. And I will make Eth Yerushalayim heaps, and a den of dragons, and I will make Eth the cities of Yahuda desolate, without an inhabitant. Who is the wise man that may understand this? And Eth, who is he to whom the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken? That he may declare it. For what the land perishes and is burned up like a wilderness that none passes through. And Yahuwah says, because they have forsaken death, my Torah, which I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, neither walked therein, but have walked after the imagination of their own heart, and after Baalim, which their fathers taught them. Therefore thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashra'el, Behold, I will feed them, even at this people, with wormwood, and give them water of gall to drink. I will scatter them also among the heathen, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will send a sword after them, till I have consumed them. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Consider ye and call for the mourning women, that they may come, and send for cunning women, that they may come, and let them make haste, and take up a wailing for us, that our eyes may run down with tears, and our eyelids gush out with waters. For a voice of wailing is heard out of Sion, how are we spoiled? We are greatly confounded, because we have forsaken the land, because our dwellings have cast us out. Yet, hear the word of Yahuwah, O ye women, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth, and teach your daughters wailing, and every one her neighbor lamentation. For death is come up into our windows, and is entered into our palaces, to cut off the children from without, and the young men from the streets. Speak, thus says Yahuwah, even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open field. 
and as the handful after the after the harvest man, and none shall gather them. Thus says Yahuwah, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am Yahuwah, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, says Yahuwah. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised, Mitzrayim and Yahuda and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab, and all that are in the utmost ends, who dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Yashara'el are uncircumcised in the heart.